a movie I watched the other day, um, Guy Ritchie. Oh, yeah, fuck. Guy Ritchie. Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched the, um, the Covenant. Dude, that's so fucking good. Mark Stock, wow. two smoking barrels right here. Movies. Awesome, the bro. action. Dude, the wow. fucking, let's yeah. go fucking he watch it right so now. Many many people. Wow. He's done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so I'm good. Juiced, dude. All right, babe, 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 I'm excited, excited. Jake right, with a right, gun, because he's got a gun in Jarhead, but he never fires it really. Like, doesn't fire it in Jarhead. gunfire in that movie besides a couple sniper shots. You know what, that's the whole reason I didn't watch it, you know? Because oh, it was Jake Gyllenhaal Dude, he's, he in an army movie, he and I thought, he... it's just, just, just giving Jarhead again. No, no, and no, I no, love no. Jarhead, but I thought I just can't bother. His body he's count's good. huge in that movie. <laughs> that's fucking Fours, fuck. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he also <laughs> kills some dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Jake fucks. Jake fucks. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Jake's one of my favorite actors, so yeah. He's really good. Might as well just get rolling into this. Welcome to Raiders of Lost Podcast. We have a very special episode. We're joined by... Legit podcast celebrities over here, shits and gigs, <laughs> James and Fuhad, you guys are killing it. Welcome to Los Angeles, all the way from UK. Introduce everybody to yourselves. Oh wow, that was, that was a nice intro. That Thank was you, a man. nice intro. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Guys, yeah, yeah, we're, we're here. Just, we're just here, spending some time in LA, um, doing a few of these. But yeah, I'm I'm gas right now. I'm buzzing. Facts. Like Facts. yeah, I've been. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, nervous, yeah. bro? You nervous? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. This is, this is the studio, man. Yeah, this yeah. is the studio. Well, we've been fans of you guys for a while, and you've been fans of ours for a while. We connected years ago through TikTok, was it? Yeah. Oh, you guys oh. are murdering it. Like, oh, my God. Like, we have 2,300 reviews on Spotify. I thought that was a lot. You guys have 46,000 fucking reviews. <laughs> you have more ratings than, like, Instagram on the App Store. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? This is crazy. <laughs> like, oh what? God. Yeah, it's, it's been a good couple of years. So describe to everybody like what your show basically is, because obviously you're not a film show like us. Yeah. You're a little more non-topical, a little raunchier, a little wild. I love it. So yeah, we're just like, we have, like I'd say we're just evergreen. Ever non-topical is actually the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, going to yeah. start using that. We are very non-topical. <laughs> it's a good word. Welcome. It's Reference good us word. every time. Yeah. 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 Brought Shout to you by Raiders. Raiders. Yeah. Brought to you by Raiders. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'd say at this point, we've kind of transitioned to just like a social media podcast mm, really social mm. media podcast um again non-topical i love the the english slang <laughs> oh, <laughs> juicy 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 yeah. <laughs> fucking hell i think it's my favorite <laughs> fucking hell gallivanting around <laughs> i say gallivanting around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. like damn the vocabulary in the uk for the average person is way higher than america trust me <laughs> most americans don't know what gallivanting even means i, I fucking had to google that shit <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on the success. You got huge on TikTok, right? Just like us. Yeah, for sure, yeah. man. Um, yeah, TikTok is nice to us. We're going to headquarters tomorrow yeah. for the first time. We got the invite finally. Are so you hard. really? Yeah, it was Let's so go. hard to get the connect to like meet somebody from TikTok, and we it's hard to like contact them online. And we weren't big enough. We're at five hundred thousand followers. Getting there. But we met them at an IMAX event for a movie finally in person, and they were awesome. They're like, you got we gotta get you in studio. And we found out they use our videos to teach people how to edit. I'm like, why don't you oh, let us teach a video? They use us as that's educational sick. content. But you couldn't hit us up? You couldn't message us TikTok? Oh, oh wow, that's sick, man. That is very sick. That's yeah, they yeah, sent yeah, us They on. sent us a guide for improving your content and we were in the guide. It's my fucking <laughs> yeah. face, I'm like, I that's wrote this. That's insane. Now, to be fair, I remember the first time I saw you guys, I was like locked in. Mm. And for like probably like a year straight, I would see clips of you guys like every single Fuck yeah. Locked yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, very, very, very good. We were in TikTok jail for a while though. For like a year. They booted us for a while. Not yeah. booted us, we were like had the shadow ban, we couldn't get on the few page, and we were having trouble getting that organic traffic, but it's kind of coming back the last, it took like until a week and a half ago. There was one point where they locked our account and we couldn't do anything, like even interact, make a comment, make do a like or anything for oh, three wow. days straight. Really, what they, for? What you guys have I, uh, like very timid content. Yeah. Right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll TikTok, you, you listening? The big, <laughs> the big strike was we made an episode of Home Alone and I posted a video of Macaulay Culkin and in the video was the bathroom scene where he's in the mirror, doing his hair yeah, and just yeah, goofing yeah. off. And it was like flag for child endangerment. After wow. that, we got locked. And Damn. I was like, fuck. Is it because he was using like the- Because he didn't have a shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah without yeah, a shirt yeah, on. Yeah. So they flagged it like for child mis child endangerment. We were just screwed ah. after that. Remember they changed their guidelines like real quick and we had a thousand videos of like John Wick shooting guns and like those kept getting flagged. It's like, yeah. what can we do about it? Yeah, we, um, <sighs> that happened on Instagram for us for a while. Yeah. Um, when we would post like polls and stuff on the stories, Fuhad would always do like funny memes along oh, with the answers. Yeah, with the and there was yeah. one of a woman choking her own shadow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they, they shadow banned us for it. Yeah. Damn, it was, ironic. It was, <laughs> yeah. Literally. And I think there was another one of like there was a, a kid, kid like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was a kid like this. Shadow banned. Shaken, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. 
All right, but what are you guys doing in LA? You're promoting a potential tour? Is that what's going on? <sighs> yeah, so um, nothing locked in yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing locked in, but we're here to just, you know, just spread our roots and um, spread our roots. Plant the balls. seed. <laughs> plant, <laughs> plant, plant, plant the seed, spread the roots. It's magical. We had there. the best Indian food of my life in yeah. Edinburgh. <laughs> Oh, oh it was yeah, unbelievable yeah, 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 and insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they had, there's a drink with a flower, and you put the flower on your tongue, and it like numbs your tongue with the sensation, and then you drink it. Damn, I've never, I've never heard that in my life. It's like some Batman Begins shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that in my life. Wow, damn. It was yeah. great. Edinburgh's amazing. We went to the Fringe Festival last, last year? year. Last year, yeah. yeah we yeah. were there for about a week. And um, before, I just assumed, I'd never been to Scotland before that, mm. and I just assumed it was like cold, windy, rainy, yeah. horrible. Um, Edinburgh is probably like top five most beautiful cities I've ever seen in my life. Same. I was shocked. The architecture, I felt like I was like living within like 300 years ago. I was yeah. just like, how is this real? It's a fucking castle yeah, on there's a, a hill. Castle. <laughs> I was just about to say, <laughs> the castle on the hill. Yeah. Oh my and God. And then a target. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, crazy juxtaposition. Bro. Yeah, we did the Harry Potter tour. It was everything. crazy. Tom oh, Riddle statue nice. and everything. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking the sick. The cemetery, with, there's like names of the characters from the books that she drew from. Like there's a cemetery. And then from you standing in the cemetery, you look out a gate and you can see the castle on the cliffside. Damn. That's where she got the inspiration. And then right next to the cemetery is a boarding school. The boarding school has four houses of, of students in it. No Isn't way. That crazy. Are they named Griffin or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> like how much did I, she take from that boarding school? <laughs> oh, sick. Okay. I had no idea. Neither Neither crazy. Yeah, that's where Neither she wrote it. And that's where like the books were first distributed in that little local area of Edinburgh. You're putting me on, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Bro, yeah. <laughs> I met facts, someone well last night, our friend, she told us that her aunt bought a first edition of Harry Potter, the first one, not knowing what it was before it blew up. It was just in a local book- bookshop. Sent it to her nephew, our friend's brother, and he's had it since. But she drew crayons over it. So oh, I think it's oh, <laughs> Imagine sure. what that'd be she worth. Yeah. Imagine that would be worth. But he oh got it God. before it blew up anywhere, even before it blew up in the UK. Damn. That's crazy. I was going to say, that's going to be worth a pretty penny, but then crayons. crayons yeah. So how come you guys haven't been to Scotland? Just you don't travel a lot if you're from the UK? You just yeah. you know what? Yeah, people in... I, till this day, I've never been to Stonehenge. Been to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How I'm far at... is it from where do you guys live, though? Um, It's actually not far. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I, I it's couldn't the tell next you. town over. A couple hours. Two hours. Yeah, it's not far, man. I've mm. never been. And I've never been to Ireland. I've never been to Wales. Uh, have I been to Wales? I don't, I don't think I've ever. I've been traveled to across the islands more than you have. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I've never, I've never been anywhere. We just stay where we are. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, yeah, chilling, yeah, bro. Are, yeah. <laughs> Literally, Dublin is fun. There's a ton of bars in Dublin. It's crazy. I've never seen so many bars with so many people packed into them on a Monday night. It's just madness. Irish can, it's wild. can drink. They all Dude. they drink is Guinness. Yeah, Every yeah, cab we got into, have you had Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've had Guinness. I don't understand a fucking thing they were saying, though. Not gonna lie. We're half Irish, half Italian, but still, I'm like, I couldn't pick up on that Irish accent at it's all. It's strong, yeah. It's but every, every bar has a Guinness sign outside of it. Like, they're very proud of it. Dude, it paid for that yeah. whole city, basically. It's insane. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. You gotta go, though. Yeah, I need to go. I, my mom's Irish. I've still never been. So yeah, I need to. I need to sort it out. That's I mean, England's not a huge place. It's not. Like you come to America, it took you fucking eight hours to fly across this bitch. It's huge. Oh, Eleven hours, bro. It took <laughs> yeah. eleven hours to get here. Yeah. This it's place massive. Is, is ridiculously yeah, big. So much landmass, and half it's just there's no one in it. There's no one there. You just fly over those crop fields. That's why America grew so quickly and so successfully because we're away from everyone, everyone in Europe, and we have so much land. No one would try to take us over. I mean, Napoleon took the biggest L in history selling that land to. <laughs> He so sold it? Well, he sold 20% of our landmass to America for $300 million. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, King George took the biggest sell, let's be honest. <laughs> you are saying stuff I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, like, you're giving me a history <laughs> lesson right here. War. You're giving me a history lesson right now. That's I'm another like, thing. Yeah. yeah, England, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, yeah you guys learn about that stuff? We don't, we we don't like learn a about badge that of stuff. Honor, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just bury it and move on. I think on. we learn about it to shit on you guys. <laughs> 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 Literally, bro. We, yeah, we don't. We don't get taught none of that. I think I'll I'll learn it when the Napoleon movie is coming out. I think next month. Yeah, yeah. Oh my oh, god, that looks so good. I can't wait to watch Holy that. Holy shit! Movie. Amazing. Yeah. Ridley Scott, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Me. Yeah. And it's That's Apple production, so I just know it's gonna be. Bumped. That trailer slaps so yeah. hard. I mean, yeah. oh my Ridley's god. one of my favorite. I think two of his movies are my all time. Two of my top. Two of my top ten movies are Ridley Scott movies. Alien and then Gladiator. I love the guy to death. I love Gladiator. Dude, I got Isn't Maximus's just... helmet right behind yeah. you. Oh my god. I got god. that thing in Scotland too. Nice. That might be my most watched movie is Gladiator, and I cry every time at the end. And <laughs> it's my most listened to music at the gym. Like, I listen to that shit while I work out, and that's how you get a PR, man. Seriously? <laughs> bar- 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 barbarian horde. <laughs> barbarian horde. <laughs> you will- Shoulder press. <laughs> Fucking Maximus over here. Legit, man. I get myself in the mindset of Maximus, and it's just you just can push it, man. You gotta try it. Try it. No, but Napoleon, that's like my most anticipated for the rest of the year, I think. 
Because you guys love movies, obviously, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 bro, 100%, yeah. Cinephiles, man. You're huge into anime too, right? Way too into anime. <laughs> I just started Full Metal Alchemist, and it's great. Ooh, oh, yeah. Brotherhood, Brotherhood really or the Brotherhood? Brotherhood. Yeah, Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brotherhood's you're really in for good. I was surprised how bloody and gory it is. It's crazy. It's dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, very yeah. dark. Yeah, I was like, oh, up. shit, okay, I can do this. Yeah, it gets there. Like, towards the, like, kind of three quarters of the way in as well, it gets crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to do more of it because we so many of our listeners love anime. But we did the hits when we were kids, obviously, like uh, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Pokemon obviously. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, of I fell off of it as I got older, like through high school. But like, everyone's just telling me you know, on anime, it's getting so big too with all the live action remakes. I feel like I, I need a list. We're of gonna do to Avatar: watch. Last Airbender. Uh, that's what you're gonna watch next. Yes, because that's great. That's really, the live action or the regular. The, the regular. regular. Okay, yeah, 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 live action is trash. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. It's the worst movie of all so time. So I, I binged it all last last year. The series, my friends kept recommending it, and then I watched the trailer after M Night's trailer. I was like, "What the fuck did he do?" Yeah, he, <laughs> Dude, he butchered. He it. didn't even. The he name. called Ang Ong. Yeah, Ang? Even, what? Yeah, he called him Ong. There's no, <laughs> there's just no need. Yeah. The whole thing's in English, and the dude's. The, the, oh, I they can't. They sucked out all of Ang's personality. They yeah, turned him like yeah, a serious, yeah, yeah, troubled yeah. kid. But Ang is a, such a goofy, silly guy. Yeah. He's like, it's everyone's annoyed by him half the time because he's being so silly. I was. Done with M. Night. I uh, was done with him after that movie. Like, he's pretty hit him. or miss for me. Yeah. Like, Knock at the Cabin was pretty good. He's this hit or year. miss for everyone. <laughs> no, that, he's got great ideas. No, no, but, yeah. That was a terrible movie. I was just is not that, into it. Is that the one where they have to um, kill, kill kill one of them yeah, yeah. to save the world? Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the one for me either. It's it was, too high of a concept. It was the most mm. predictable M Night movie, probably for like his twist movies. Mm. But I like the village a lot. I like I, like I love the, the village. Sense. Mm. But his even though his dialogue can be cringe sometimes. Even the village is a great idea, but some of the dialogue you're like. Wrote this. Yeah, 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 but like the ideas are there, yeah. and the sixth sense is iconic. Have you seen uh, the servant? The what? The servant? servant. No, it's I have a series. It's by M Night. Oh, as well. he did do the servant. Oh, with uh, Rupert Grint in it, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. I, know, I would say. I would say the first couple. I think how many seasons are out now? It's like. Oh, it's something ridiculous. It's quite a lot of seasons. I would say the first couple are really good, like twisty, and you know, like you're actually sucked into it. Pause, but like, the other few aren't. The best I would It looked say. like it had like Rosemary's Baby vibes from the trailer, if I remember. Mm, mm. It's good, man. I would recommend mm. it. Plus, is yeah, Apple, Apple have a bad of my better runner right now. They don't yeah. miss. They're pretty good, man. Yeah, <sighs> they I'll got see, the money. They the thing is, they don't miss. But I think the last couple of things I've watched, the first few episodes have been punchy, 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 and it slowly dies down. And it's like, for example, the Changeling. I was, I, I knew you were gonna say the, the Changeling. Changeling. The first two episodes, they had me. And then it slowly starts to like delve into this world where things aren't really making sense. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm hit and miss with Apple at the moment. But Severance? I like Have you Severance watched that? Is Severance is amazing. Severance is one what of the best. What the fuck does it mean? Dude, the, the I end need of, to know. When Severance ended, I literally yeah. stood up. I said, "Fuck you, Apple," yeah. because I'm, that twist, like yeah. the cliffhanger. I'm like, what is going Fantastic. on? Fantastic. They need to bring that back. They don't know if they're gonna bring it back. They, How that, can they not? That's they're impossible. not sure because the creator. So Ben Stiller is one of the creators, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah. been having creative issues with another creator. So like they don't know what direction. So the guy who created it with him, like the original, he's like not liking what Ben Stiller's doing, show running it. Okay. So loving they're it. They're not man. sure. If, they're just not sure if it's gonna get a second season. That's <gasps> insane. That if, is insane. If not, I just want him to just write on like an email what the fuck it yeah, all yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. need to know. It's That's the best Apple show I've seen. I was gonna say easily Same. top three Apple shows. Yeah, easily. Yeah. But like, what the fuck are they even doing there? I don't know what they're doing on the yeah, computers. Yeah, yeah, I just mm, want to know. But mm, they got me. It's so lost. Hooked, man. Yeah, it's given. <laughs> yeah, dude, Lost was insane. I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid to get into Lost, man. He's like, he's like, bro, don't do it. Like, it's, it's not worth it. It's like, it's like meth, man. Once you get into it, you're hooked. Yeah. And you're thinking about it ever since. Yeah. For ten years, you've been thinking about you that hit. You can't stop watching it until you're done, man. Because I binged it. That was the first thing I ever binged on Netflix. Was Lost in like oh, wow. 20, 28, 2016 or something. I a remember. Long time I came ago. to the living room every day. It was like twenty. It was like in 2011. a cocoon of like your own. Like, I did it in a month. Oh raw! Wow. Wow. It was insane. It was insane. Yeah, and I, I can't watched... believe how people did it waiting in between seasons. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did oh when I was god. a kid. Brutal. When it yeah. came out. And yeah, um, yeah. Oh, was, oh my god. Really that was, I was difficult. But that was the first, first ever show that I was like locked in on. Mm. It was lost. I'd never, ever experienced a show like that before. Was it lost before Breaking Bad? Yeah, way yeah. before. Breaking yeah. Bad was like yeah. 08, 09, right? Breaking okay. Bad was, oh, it started in 08. I, I was mid, yeah. like, I, I started watching Breaking Bad when it was on Netflix. I, uh, oh, really? <gasps> I started Damn. day one, man. Yeah, day yeah, one same. of AMC. Same. He's that guy who, like, saw the indie band before they got huge. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, saw, yeah, I saw the yeah, Rolling yeah, one Stones. Of them. One of the 100 in, people watching it on AMC. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw the Stones. <laughs> Mick Jagger's a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> man, and then when I got on Netflix and blew up, I was just so happy, but I was also like, you guys, you didn't, you didn't choose to watch it for three fucking years. Now you all want to watch it?
recently. We did an episode. I so watched it good. twice back to back. So I was so fucking into that good. show. I binged it because of his recommend. Like he recommended it to me, or he recommended it on the show. I was like, I've never actually seen it. And he was talking about season two. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna binge the whole thing. I can swear. Yeah, like, go, go crazy. Be yourself. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm binging it. I was literally because I used to work in hospitality. I was thinking, this is so accurate. It's unbelievable. Literally one of the best shows I've watched. Yeah, yeah I, I bartended it. for two years. I waited tables for eight years, so we know oh, that wow, world too. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, so, so accurate. So the vocabulary, accurate. how how Hi. chaotic it is behind the kitchen. The scenes, oh, it's a fucking my mess. God. Yeah. But on the front, it's like there's it's a calm. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. It's like that duck like kicking its feet yes. under the water. I was literally like, just about to say that. Literally. <laughs> literally just about to say that. Bro, I feel bro, it. Bro, <laughs> there. Literally just about to say it. It's called The Swan. The Swan, it's right? It's called yeah, The yeah, Swan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, bro. Uh, that Starge episode is oh, one of my favorite episodes of yeah. anything I've seen. Yeah, he... His character, I can't remember his name, but his character development. Yeah, I just called him cousin. I can't remember his name. Oh, Richie. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, was incredible. From season one to the end of the season two, like yeah. him running Expo at the end. Oh, I, was so, I was so proud. Expo? I was so <laughs> proud of that man. Yeah. I got, I got it. I get I, it. Yeah. So get it, He's got the suit on. Yeah, I wear yeah. suits now. Shut I wear up. suits now. Everything. <laughs> Amazing show. It's like show. a suit of awesome. armor, man. I love it. It's amazing show. That Expo line's fucking crazy, man. It gets intense sometimes. I love Expo. Wow. Yeah, I'm jealous I'd never. I never got to try all that. Yeah. Honestly, it's, uh, it's bad. I wouldn't be that jealous. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. someone should. Everyone should do it for like two weeks of their life, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mess, but it's good money. But it is absolutely chaos and madness, and it's so str- you, There will be like four hours during your shift where you can't even think. You don't even know what you're doing. You're just moving on to the next task, and you can't. Even, you don't even have mm. a second to even think about anything outside of what you're doing because there's so many small, minute tasks you have to do in a row. It's crazy. It's a insane. huge power play, though. Yeah, that's why I like it. Mm. Probably, yeah. It's good for multitasking. Like yeah. it's a skill that you, you like use later in life for sure. And keeping your composure and controlling your emotions. It's a lot nice. of people can't though. So <laughs> some people can't handle it, and they just freak out and they they'll quit after a couple of days. Like after one of those busy shifts a Saturday night, they'll be done. That would be me. I, I know for a hundred percent that would be me. Hundred yeah. percent that would Hospitality be me. taught me patience. So much patience. You get yeah. talked down to just people all the time. They just talk to you like a piece of shit, and you, you have to take it. You I just have don't to take it. it. Nah, yeah. was, yeah. How long was I? I was a bartender for like a week. Yeah. <laughs> when we, yeah, when we were in uni, yeah. yeah, for like a week, and then I remember the after. I think yeah, after one of the shifts, they booked me in to finish at like three a.m. Mm. And then afterwards, he's like, "All right, cool." Everyone, cloths, buckets, let's clean down all the tables. Let's make sure there's no chewing gum under there. And I was just like, bro, it's like half three. <laughs> like, what, what, My what, shift is done. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm not getting paid for this. Like, <laughs> no, this is not a thing. Um, yeah, nah, nah. So half three is three thirty. Three thirty. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I like it. I like it. I love. We'll it. say love, half past three. I love the slang. Juicy. Yeah. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Juicy. 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 Oh, bro, yeah. <laughs> it's like every five minutes on your show, it cracks me. That's what I love about your show, though. Like within five minutes, you're giggling your ass off, like in the car, just on my way to the gym. It's just so funny. Oh, bro, thank you. You guys are killing it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Who in the UK? Who's like the number one director? Like most respected? Who's like the person that's like for film? Everybody's like they're the best from from UK? from where we come from. Is it Ridley? Now, to be fair, we don't. Director, I would say um, there's a movie I watched the other day, um, Guy Ritchie. Oh, yeah, fuck. Guy Ritchie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched the, um, the Covenant. Dude, that's so fucking good. Mark's wow. two smoking barrels right here. Movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I watched The Covenant the other day. Movie. I was going to watch it on the plane. It's movie. so good. Is it good? Classic so good. action movie. Wow, it's a movie. Like, no bullshit. We have a fucking great action set yeah. piece at the end. It's awesome. Yeah. Jill Hall's right, awesome right. in it. It's great. I'll watch it on the way home. Movie. Dude, highly yeah. recommend. All right, sick. sick. I was gonna it's recommend it. I was gonna sick, talk dude. about it on the pod, but we're here. Yeah. Those yeah, movies yeah, they yeah. don't really get made anymore. Those kinds of action movies, they just don't. hard, mm, just yeah. like nitty gritty action movies. Good storyline as yeah. well. Like he didn't. Yeah. The pacing was amazing. There's a lot of heart yeah. to it too. It's, it's like there's so many layers to it. A good mm. perspective of someone from the Middle East and how it affects them. Like it's Facts. never seen it from that like inside out yeah. version. It's usually yeah. just like the American perspective. It's about a interpreter who. Uh, he gets kidnapped, basically, and uh, a, a soldier in the army has to go save him, basically, after he gets saved by him. He saves his life, then he goes and saves his life in the Middle East. But it shows how oh, interpreters wow. behind, who are from those nations, they put their lives and their families in danger for help, by helping American mm-hmm. soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. It shows that side of it in a big way. It's really great. It's fucking awesome, the bro. action. Dude, wow. fucking, yeah. let's go fucking he watch it right so now. Many the wow. He does. Oh, so many it's people. so I'm good. Juiced, dude. All right, babe, 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 babe. I'm excited. excited. Jake right, with a babe, gun, because he's got a gun in Jarhead, but he never fires it, really. He like, doesn't no, there's no hurt, gunfire yeah. in that movie besides a couple of sniper shots. You know what? That's Just the training. whole reason I didn't watch it, you know? Oh, because it was Jake Gyllenhaal. Dude, he's he in an army movie, and I thought, 
He, it's just just, just giving Jawhead again. No, no, and I love well. Jawhead, but for us, come of it. He, he killed. Well. He, yeah. he's, his body he's count's good. huge in that movie. <laughs> that's fucking Fours, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he also kills some dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Jake fucks. Jake fucks. <laughs> that's weird. Jake's one of my favorite actors, so yeah. He's really good. He's a legend. South Park, man. The last 10 years, oh, man. Southpaw. Prisoners. Southpaw. Prisoners. Nightcrawlers. Enemy. Enemy. You guys seen Enemy? I don't think I've seen Enemy. It's a Denis Villeneuve movie he made before. Well, same year came out, right? Prisoners and Enemy, 2013. Mm -hmm. It's a doppelganger movie, so there's like two versions of him. Oh, it's a great mystery. Damn. But okay. Denis Villeneuve made it. Okay. It's fucking awesome. I've Recommend it. Say yeah. less. Add that to the list. I was going to say, I think Nightcrawler is one of my favorite of the last Nightcrawler is like, amazing. I love that. Donnie Darko, bro. That was Donnie a, Darko. Childhood with Donnie wow. Darko. Wow. I watched oh, that yeah. way too young. Mm. It Same. gave me nightmares. <laughs> 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 it gave me serious nightmares. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Strong movie. But Jake's one of the best, man. He's just so reliable. Old, reliable Jake Gyllenhaal. Old, reliable. <laughs> he's, that he's means we're be, getting old. He's, he's getting old. I know, right? Fuck it. How old are you guys? 32. 33. Are you guys twins too? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's in more than we are. <laughs> but when did you guys meet? Like, how, how young were you? We were 18. First day of university. First day yeah, of university. 18. Yeah. 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 Dorm, yeah, like dorm, same dorm or what? Uh, no, 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 same, just same. Um, we did the same course. Same course as well. So, yeah, before, we yeah. met because, um, <laughs> yeah, basically, I didn't have any friends. <laughs> I didn't have any friends. So I walked in the class. Him and another one of our friends were literally the only two black dudes in the class. So I was just like, all right, if I'm going to pick someone, it's going to be, it's gonna be these two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then after class, we're walking, walking between lectures, and I heard our other friend, uh, Aaron, talking about basketball. And I played basketball at the time. I was just like, oh, I play basketball, yeah. Hi, friends. <laughs> and I just never left their side since. Yeah, and that's how it's been. That's yeah. awesome. Look yeah. at you two now. It's fucking like 14 crazy. years later, here we are. Yeah, man. And for us, it. it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's, been, it's been since the womb. <laughs> <laughs> fucking married since year two, basically. <laughs> that's what it's like being a twin. You're married. Kind of. Kind of. Until yeah. you're 15. You do everything together until like, you're 15. In high we also we looked exactly the same when we were kids. Like It was very hard for even our friends to sometimes separate us. But now we look a lot different. It's mm. hard for listeners back to then, tell us apart. Back then, we looked exactly the same. We try to keep a different look, though. Glasses. I gave up on contacts. I'm just glasses. I I'm can't wear contacts. They, they fucked my eyes up, and I was just like, I'm tired of it. I can can't you, do it. Can you see anything right now? You know, Yeah, no, I, I, I use glasses, but I'm short-sighted, so I, I can see things from far. But yeah, glass um, contacts. Dry. My eyes get dry as fuck, but I just deal with it. Do they freak you out, like putting them in? Yeah, that's uh, the reason why I can't do them. Uh, I just don't want to put something Nah. It is a weird thing. You're constantly like, touching your eye and pinching your eye. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, nice. the pinch it. I've tried to put one contact in one time for Halloween. I remember. Didn't yeah. work. I remember I was when, panicked. When I first got them, the optometrist did it for me. That freaked me the hell out. They're mm -hmm. like, all right, open your eye. Yeah, yeah well, when I first started using them in middle school, it took me 30 minutes to get them in at first. And then after like a month, I was 30 seconds. It was easy. Even eye drops for me, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> eye drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah same. Wrong. So I'm not fucking with the contact. I'm <laughs> Nothing around here. Yeah, <laughs> All right, what else you guys been watching movie-wise? I've wow. been slacking movie-wise recently. Um, I mean, you I've guys been... are just on tour, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah, also yeah, been a slow yeah, season yeah, yeah. at the, it's at the been, cinema. It's, it's been a slow one, man. Like, series and anime for me for the last few months. Facts. I've just been like... See you Oppenheimer? Ones? Bro, it's taken. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. I saw Oppenheimer. I haven't, still haven't even yeah. seen oh, Oppenheimer. Oh, bro. Oppenheimer's really good. He's it's the only just, person it's... alive who hasn't seen Oppenheimer. Yeah, bro, literally. And that's the only reason I couldn't... I couldn't find the time to go watch it in the cinema when it was out. And then once it wasn't there... I was just like, I, I don't feel like I can watch this just at home. I was saying, I was saying, because I watched it in the cinema and I was saying, it's really good, but it's also one of those ones, I don't want to be in the cinema to watch it because you're sat in this seat that you can't recline and you can't be comfortable and it removes the enjoyment from the movie because you can't be comfortable. So I was saying it's better that he watches it at home because he's in his own space. You gotta get in these theaters in LA. Dude, they LA. got recliners out yeah, here. Nice here. You can dude. get that, yeah. you know? Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can find you one of them. Where the fuck are you <laughs> seeing movies? You sit on a plastic chair. <laughs> it's in the dude's backyard. So Welcome to my movie theater. It's just so long sometimes, but um, really good movie. Have you guys seen The Creator? Yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. that recently as well. I thought that was decent. Very good, yeah. Um, it looked great, yeah. I feel like it was one of those ones where I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the cinematography, I enjoyed the storyline and everything, but I was re looking at the reviews and thinking, these guys are slating it. It's not as good as what probably they thought it was going to be, but I, I really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, it was hyped up. It yeah. was overhyped. That's one of the problems yeah. with like social media culture is they overhype the fuck out of some movies yeah. and some yeah, shows. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It's happened a few times. Things like, have to be the best ever, and if it doesn't hit that ceiling, yeah. then it's a disappointment. Like, Talk to Me. Did you guys see Talk to Me, the Australian horror movie? 
No. A24 yeah, one. It's right. really solid, but it was hyped up to be like the next Hereditary. You guys uh, Hereditary. Oh, but like, yeah. That's all time. I, think I recommended that. That's yes, fucking bro. all time. Wow, that's, wow, that's but good. But that's how that people good. were hyping it up so much. Wow, and it was good. good, but like I was sitting in the theater, I'm like, this isn't like the next Hereditary, mm-hmm. but it's still solid. But that's mm-hmm. the expectations. Like it has to be the greatest ever or it's not good. I watched the um, horror movie. I watched, I watched The Exorcism, The Rebirth. Oh, one. the new one? Yeah. No. Believer? The believer, that's it. Sorry, um, no. gosh, I can't, I'm not doing it. Just, it, was, doing it was just okay. Like <laughs> there was probably like two jump scares in the whole movie, hmm. and it's like, is this what this is? Oh, okay. But it was, it was just okay in my opinion. I'm not watching. I'm a gigantic fan of the original, so I'm not going to watch any sequels oh, at all. Smart. Fair, I mean, fair. the guy who made that, he made those new Halloween movies, like Halloween Ends, Halloween Kills. Yeah, you see yeah, those? Yeah, yeah. Those I'm were, not, no, I'm dude, don't those. fucking. I'm not, I don't watch horror movies at mm. all, just for this exact After reason. After the Donnie Darko comment, I believe <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You're like, you're yeah, like yeah, closing yeah, yeah, up. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, it takes a lot for for me to enjoy a horror movie. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm I so put off horror movies just from, like, just the lack of care in just, like, acting and storytelling and stuff like that. It just mm. it just puts me off so much. I've heard, um, I'm not, I've never seen them, but I've heard The Terrifier is really good. I'm, af- I'm afraid to watch those. For fans of gore, it's like, it hits what they want. Okay. Like, the very gory, very, like, like, Torture porn kind of horror film. Okay, a little too yeah. much gore, and I'm I'm out, dude. I'm out. The thing is, we were we have four older brothers, and they were showing us horror films when we were little kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we grew up with that, like Chucky and Freddy and Jason and, and um, all that. So we're very desensitized. So it's actually pretty difficult to scare us. Fair, uh, fair, uh, fair. Speak for yourself. <laughs> scare me. Don't scare me. I have thrown pillows across the living room <laughs> multiple times. The like, guy talked to me. I think you said I was like yawning or something. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like squirming. I'm like, I squirm oh. in that chair, man. I squirm. I Nothing scares me. It can't. He'll get it's you, tough. You're just, you're a fucking robot. That's why. It's not a robot. I'm that's a fucked control. up thing to say. Just like, nothing strong. Just in control. <laughs> man. Man. Stay well, bond. Yeah, that's just in control. <laughs> like, Jesus, man. Can't move me. Yeah, say less. Um, yeah, I think the last, this is, I'm slacking, the last banger of a movie I saw was probably Puss in Boots. Movie. I heard that was great. I heard that was good. I guess bro, wasn't it slap. Movie. Movie. was great. Movie. Last Wish. Yeah. yeah, bro. Really good movie. Killed it. Mm. I heard that. Yeah, Death is the Villain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The really Big Bad Wolf. I, everybody film. keeps recommending that. It's a really Dude, good movie. It's sick. <laughs> it's really good. I'm not joking. It's no, no, sick. I know, everyone <laughs> keeps saying that. I'm like, I, is this really that good? Dude? Yeah, it is. It's, 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 real. it's really good. Yeah. Like, really well written is what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Antonio Banderas is the man. Fucking Zorro, dude. Zorro, bro. Zorro, that shit Zorro's was wow. iconic when we were kids. Mm. Did you guys grow up watching yeah, Zorro? Yeah, Zorro as a kid, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. he was huge in the 90s. Like, that was our superhero, Zorro. And Blade. Yeah. Blade. And now there's Blade. Blade. fucking many. Yeah. Blade? Blade? I watched Movie. that when I was... Because my dad would let us watch anything. He used to take us to these, like, IT conventions. They were the most boring thing in, on planet Earth. Mm. We'd just go around looking at boring, like, computers. Um, and then I remember we were probably... When did it was just when Blade came out? When did Blade come out? Oh, 96 or 97? 96, 96, 96, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was yeah. probably like you were five, six, yeah, six years mm. old, something like that. And I saw it on uh, one of the monitors. Someone, one of the guys was uh, playing the the club scene. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, <laughs> the best scene. And, I was, and then my dad was like, Oh, do you like it? We'll go. We went to Blockbusters that day and got it. I was yeah. blown away, bro. The intro, yeah, the club That's scene. That's one of the, the best scenes yeah, yeah. ever. It's like, crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> so good. Crazy. And he oh just God. walks up. Oh my God. <laughs> I love when he's, he's like smiling. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Wesley Snipes was perfect. I love Mahershala Ali, but I don't see how Wesley can be topped. He was just perfect. Unbelievable. Yeah. Perfect as Blade. It's Hopefully. tough, man. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited for Blade. It's like the only MCU project I'm really excited about, but they've already messed it up twice. They're rewriting, yeah. reshooting. Yeah. But I mean, the guy who did <clears throat> True Detective, yeah. he rewrote the script. Uh, Tony puts Yeah, so Ma- Mahershala worked with him on the last season of True Detective, and so since the script was in disarray, he hired Nick Pizzolatto, the writer of True Detective, to rewrite the script for Blade, because he's like, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, get yeah, him yeah, on board. Yeah, yeah. You gotta nail it. Blade's so important to the MCU going forward. He's I just like, want it to be like hard R, bloody, just really graphic. I don't want PG-13 Blade. No. no. Yeah. no. Yeah, Slicing vampires' heads off. Let's go. <laughs> just like when Logan came out. Fuck yes. Logan! Logan. Oh I can talk about God. Logan for years. Dude. Oh my yeah. God. I finally right seeing yeah, the spice going it, through yeah. heads and shit. Bro, dude. Logan was like the biggest, one of probably biggest like movie surprises I've ever seen. Mm. I wasn't expecting, because they had done the X-Men originals and all and of that. The and the Wolverines. And the Wolverines and blah, blah. I think another one. And then when I watch it, I was thinking, wow, okay, say less. I'll take it back. I take it back. It's a really good movie. Because the other Professor the, X, man, bold yeah. as fuck. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. other Wolverines, they're not that good. So this one just like blew us away with it. We weren't. Nobody was expecting. Yeah, it. You got it nominated for an Oscar for screenplay. Did it really? Yeah, that's wow. how good it is. It's unbelievably yeah. good. Wow. It's yeah. wild. I love how it just chills by itself. 
mm-hmm. not expanding it or anything like yeah. that. Just leaving it alone. Just kind of like an alternate reality of what they created already. Yeah. And just let it be. We just got finally got to fully realize Wolverine, Logan, and then, but we're getting him back. I'm really curious. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the fence about. It. He's mm. old as shit now. <laughs> yeah, really but I'm sure is. he wanted that fifty million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. See, I want to see Hugh Jackman's paycheck for that. I really want to see. He's it. got a lot of zeros. A lot of zeros. He got the fucking bag for that, dude. <laughs> Guaranteed. His, I, I don't know how he puts his body through it. Facts. Facts. But it's, I, I'm. I'd like to believe it's going to be. A good I, want, I like the first, collab, right? yeah, yeah, I like Deadpool the first 3, Deadpool yeah. a lot. I think it was great. The second one was solid too, but I mean, the first one was better. Yeah, it was, oh, it was, it was true, a little yeah. better. I think yeah. a little. It was more fun. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds knows what he's doing. They need rated R though. That's the thing. Logan yeah. made like seven hundred million dollars. Rated R mm. fucking comic book movie. No one yeah. thought that would happen. Oppenheimer made nine hundred fifty million dollars. <laughs> it's rated R. It's a rated R movie about people talking in rooms for three hours. Plus, plus that explosion was sick. Yeah, explosion. Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. I remember. Um, Watchmen was rated R as well, right? Yeah. yeah. I loved it. That I was slated a lot. so good. I really, really loved it. I have a difference of opinion. Though. You really? Oh, yeah. I just fucking see, hear it. No, so I... <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> the thing is, like, I've watched it. I remember tr- trying to watch it the first time and realizing how long the movie was. And I think I wasn't paying attention towards the end, so I tried to watch it again. And I, and I watched it and I was thinking... You didn't have a recliner? <laughs> it's, it's not even that. I, was, I think I watched it at home. And I just... I think maybe because I was comparing it to other movies or I just wasn't really like zoned in i just thought it was okay personally i just didn't really think it was that great it's divisive it's a divisive movie. it's not a liked movie it was ahead of its time yeah. i think yeah, though like yeah, i feel 100%. like that movie came out now people would fucking go like maybe. crazy to see it. maybe yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but i mean i thought it was awesome i think he killed it when you if you've ever read the graphic novel i don't know if you guys Actually, ever had, it's no. fucking like he went frame for frame trying to make it look as much like the graphic novel like yeah, using okay. that basically as like a storyboard yeah he had it on set and they were setting up the shots basically to duplicate the shots nice. in the actual comic book. Sick. I appreciate stuff like that, man. Yeah. It's, I thought it was really fantastic, but I think that the, it came out too soon. It was, it's a deconstruction of superhero movies, and it came out before the superhero boom. It's like 09, so right after Iron Man. Yeah, and this it's, I think it was 07. Even though superheroes yeah. were big, I mean, we had Spider-Man trilogy, we had Batman trilogy, mm-hmm. and then that, well, we had Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Yeah. But and yeah, it was maybe a little out. too early for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just perfectly now, because you got like, obviously now you got like the boys, Invincible, mm, that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, that's that tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it would it would slap now. Yeah, maybe maybe now, yeah. But at the time, I just wasn't really checking for it. I'm not too sure. So I, I was kind of I've been tired of superheroes, but then the boys, I was like, okay, this is good. I was like, I needed something different. I needed something adult. Like I needed that to be interested in the genre still. Boys. Boys is really good. Have you watched the Gen V at all? Not yet, but we're gonna do an episode on it. Are they doing week by week? Is they it? are doing. Because right, we're week, gonna yeah. wait till it all comes out. Then we're gonna watch and do an episode on it. Finale's next week, I believe. Or, or like that. episode seven's next week. It's I just think. tough to watch TV for us because there's so much to fucking do. Because how many oh, yeah. episodes do you guys do a week? One Patreon, one, one, yeah, um, one YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two weeks. <laughs> we do six. <laughs> we do yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. You guys Damn. work. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys could like buy our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're coming in with the bag. I'm ready to go. Man. <laughs> you guys are you're an inspiration, man. Hard workers for Very real. Awesome. And you know oh, your shit, man. Oh, oh. Like, oh. like just the way you're talking now, just about. Oh, when was this? Oh, 2006. Like, off the cuff, you just know things. It's, yeah, the memory recall, recall is frustrating. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know your shit, man. Well, you know what it is? I spent my childhood looking at IMDb and Wikipedia, random Fair. shit. Yeah. Whenever I'd see a movie or an actor, I would, I would fucking research them. I do Just in too. my own spare time. Yeah. So, mm. same thing with him. So Watching we're... interviews, yeah, all that stuff. Just, like, soaking in all that information, and now we have a place to put it. That's how we used yeah. to talk. We'd be in the kitchen, like, before work. Like, hey, did you hear that? Martin Scorsese is making a new movie called The Depart. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Let's look it up. Like yeah, and now we just do it for a living. But mm. we take it pretty very seriously, obviously. Yeah, but very at seriously. first, we had no idea what the hell we were doing in terms of a podcast. It just kind of happened. Well, you, yeah. he had a solo podcast first. It oh, was, yeah, yeah. It was him just like talking shit for 40 minutes. What, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, some movies and stuff? No, or? just like <laughs> the world. Was, it was like kind of a comedy based, kind of non-topical. I would just like break down stuff happening like that week, I guess yeah. you could say. But because yeah. I discovered TikTok in 2018. But I saw like the potential that it was mm. there. Like everyone thought it was just like a dancing app, but obviously you guys saw that potential too. I was like, oh, I'm gonna capitalize on this. I was trying to find a new creative outlet. I was working video production for full time, but I wasn't like fulfilled. And we moved to LA to make movies. That's our long term goal. We just released oh, nice. our first short film. Yeah, we just year. made a short film. Congratulations! Sick, man. We'll send Congrats. you. We'll send you the link. It's on Please YouTube. Please do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sick. And that was awesome. So we're starting to get that going now that we have the free time and we created an independent film company out of this show, basically. But I saw the potential of TikTok. I was just 
having fun. I got like 9,000 followers just making silly Boston related content because we're from Massachusetts. So I like created a character called Boston Jim, just like Bostonians hate it. Yeah, yeah. That's the ironic <laughs> thing. It's like Star Wars Boston. fans hate Star Wars fans. Bostonians hate Bostonians. But um, and then we saw the potential. I wasn't making money off or anything, but getting a lot of views. And then we lockdown happened. He lost all of his freelance work doing photography. And we just like decided to finally start a podcast because we always talked about it. it's like that thing you do with your homie like hey we should take that trip sometime we should build that deck out back finally the podcast was like it's like something like it's a project a project yeah. we have those silly oh, yeah. ideas oh, yeah. Yeah. and then we finally did it and i'm like we're gonna use tiktok to market it and then within a f- couple months we were just popping really yeah blew up really popping then a year and a half later we left our jobs then i even got a smartphone for yeah. it <laughs> but it all is all tiktok and because i was making those stupid videos I thought it was, I didn't even know what TikTok was. And I was like, I don't want to go on TikTok. Isn't that where people dance and shit? And then he, he, he knew it. He knew it. I saw the signs. Yeah, yeah. Dude, well played. I'm not even, I can't even take credit for our TikTok. It was actually one of my friends. Oh, wow. Um, and we were posting all of the clips on Instagram. Um, and it was actually one of my friends who said, oh, you should post them on TikTok. And I was literally like, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, there's no, I'm not downloading that app. And then literally did it. And I remember the first, the first video I posted on there got like, probably like 3,000 views in like a couple hours. And I remember thinking, damn, it's easy to get yeah. views on here. And you had, yeah. had no followers. Yeah, and zero still followers yeah. and yeah. still doing it. I was like, yeah. oh, damn, this is easy. And mm. then the next one, um, I remember the next one I posted was actually, I didn't even tell you this. Okay. It was just like a normal, like, like, like you would an Instagram story. Oh, okay, okay. Just okay. like posting something and it did like seven views. And I was like, delete. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So you were like, testing the water. Yeah, testing the water, so okay. you know, see what sticks. And then, uh, yeah, another clip, another clip. And then, okay. yeah, they were just doing like, crazy views for no reason yeah. But, yeah. yeah i didn't actually understand that i just thought everyone was doing mad views i didn't i didn't mm-hmm. think that like we were actually doing well for us like it was our fourth video it was an inglorious bastards video talking about one of the scenes and it got seven hundred fifty thousand. then i was like yeah, oh it was the breaking down the hitchcock oh. building of suspense yeah. where you show the audience the bomb under the table which is the jews hiding under the floorboards but you just don't reveal that until mm-hmm. the end of the scene like quentin tarantino did but that killed yeah and i was after that i was like oh yeah let's do tiktok yeah, but Damn. it was the t- the thing with TikTok. It was like everyone got to experience virality, where everyone was trying to get that on Instagram, and then Vine died, and like Twitter, and we, we were trying to figure it out. But then like now anyone can go viral on TikTok, and like fucking lives can change. You can build a career out of it. It was crazy. Facts. Lives Facts. can Facts. change is the word, bro. Facts. It was oh man, TikTok sorted us out. Yeah. And I, what I love about TikTok is that like um, you can't rely to an extent. You really like as opposed to other platforms. Like we could do a YouTube video. Um, and it can be kind of like we can do an episode that's kind of trash and it's still going to do relatively similar views to what it does but like TikTok is like relentless I've seen people with like millions of followers post like a trash video and like you know about it yeah you know about it you get like 8,000 views and mm. you're just like Jesus Christ yeah, <laughs> yeah legit <laughs> yeah. like under under 50k you're like should I kill myself <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah man oh yeah but. it's tough it's like a drug man it is like getting those views it's tough to like not get wrapped up into it like the first year we were so addicted to the views and the comments yeah. and just responding we would, we would watch mm. the pages refresh as it's getting like thousands of views Bro, every oh second God. and it's, pr- it's like that like that was blowing my mind i was like i can't believe this is happening it's wild it's crazy man. but it took it took a while to get to where we are though i mean like, like you guys too i'm sure it took what a while before you were full-time on it a year or so yeah two, so year and a i bit, was so. when did i i think i went full-time last year march something oh, yeah, like I that year in a bit. it was two years and we started in 2019 and I, I went full-time march end of march 22 yeah, yeah so, no, I went January 22. You went January, I went March, March end of March 22. So, yeah, we were doing it for a good couple of years yeah. before. But then what's the growth Anything. been like the last year then? Just like fucking meteoric going yeah. to the fucking moon? Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know what? The growth has been um, always, because a lot of people always ask us like, well, when was that moment when you realized? But like our growth has actually been very steady, but it's just like, it's always been like, let's say it's like a, a 5% increase like every month, but like 5% from like, 10,000 followers is very, very different to 5% from like a million, yeah. which is very, very different to 10% from 5 million. So like our growth has always, always been steady. I've never really thought that we were like- It wasn't like a spike. It was yeah, like, there was it's a like trend never, line. Yeah, yeah, we've always trend. had like very, yeah. same across all platforms really, very, very consistent mm. uh, upward trend. Um, so I've always been like, yeah, 
cool, doing well, doing well. And we've always hit these milestones where people are like, oh my God, like you've made it. And I'm like, eh, yeah. <laughs> What's tough is the conversion well. rate's tough. You, you'll get it, you'll have a million followers on TikTok, but then yeah, the number of people on TikTok that actually listen to your show on Spotify or Apple is so minuscule. Yeah. yeah. So you get it, you, the grind never ends. You have to keep putting the content out to get the eyes on you because people will be like, oh my God, you have so many followers on TikTok. And I'm like, yeah, but I wish they, if they listen to our show. Bro, I'd yeah. have a fucking yeah. chopper in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He would have flown you guys chopper. in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was always like a really, <laughs> a really tough pill to swallow. Yeah. Um, and like, again, like Patreon conversions was always tough as well. But we always found that like, I noticed like a trend is that people will always like, once they binge your content with TikTok, like you have to, TikTok is a good app to like build trust. Like if you can consistently make videos on TikTok that hit and are really, really good, then the conversion will always, always happen. Um, but it's always the ones that where you have, we've had videos that, and they just don't. Yeah. yeah they really, them. really don't. Yeah. But it, it's always a trend. So like I noticed if we had a killer, killer video, it's always a few weeks after that, then you'll notice the spike on YouTube. Mm. And then it's always about a month or two after that, that you'll see a spike in Patreon. So it's like, you'll get this influx of like um, new fans on TikTok or Instagram and stuff like that. And then they will binge your content religiously until they, until you've built enough trust where they're like, okay, cool. I need more. I can listen to these guys Let for an hour. Transfer to a YouTube. Sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then it transfers over to YouTube or Spotify mm -hmm. or whatever. Makes sense. And then after a few months of that, they're like, okay, now I really trust these guys. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay. Oh, it's a great area to look at it, like getting all the free content out of the way and then yeah. like finally support us financially. Yeah. yeah. But it's funny, you think a clip on Instagram that gets a million views, you're gonna be, oh, we're gonna get a thousand followers from this, two followers, the it's first, wild. The first TikTok that we got uh, to a million views, I remember thinking, that's it, we're, we're done. done. We're rich, <laughs> we're rich, <laughs> we're rich, yeah, we're rich. Yeah, yeah. sorted. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah sorted. Dude, we thought we were gonna be super rich like last year, so on YouTube, don't remind me. <laughs> out of nowhere, we had this meteoric spike on YouTube for like a month and a half, two months. We're talking like, going. we get like, Two, three thousand views a day, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Maybe like our yeah. real time 48 hours is like five to ten thousand. Nothing crazy. There's huge competition for movie podcasts on YouTube. But like this random summer, like in June of 2021 mm -hmm. or something Last like that. Last year. It was just through the roof. We we're getting like 15, 20,000, we 30,000 views a day. Yeah, 25,000. We a like day. were hugging in the kitchen. We we're like, bro, <laughs> we're going to be rich. We fucking made hugging it finally. It lasted for a month and then boom, back down. We were trying to yeah. figure out what the hell happened. And because our videos, like yours, long form episodes, like there's a lot of ads in them. So we were making hundreds of dollars a day on YouTube. We I were think like, I cried. We were like, this is it, man. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then it peaked at 25,000 per day and then slowly just stopped dropping, dropping, dropping. And then it came back to where it is now. We were like, fuck. We can't I don't have those happened. conversations. No, it'll come back. It'll go back up. It'll go back up. It'll, it'll go. It'll go back we'll, up. We'll get it there again. Never comes back. I have no idea what Do it was. Do you guys use uh, YouTube Shorts at all? We did for a little we bit. We used to, but we didn't use YouTube Shorts when that happened. And oh, then right. after it dropped, I was like, "Let's do YouTube Shorts." So we try it for a bit, and we're sticking with. We just made a clips page on YouTube, so we're just gonna do shorts there, a separate channel, and then stick to just long form content only on our Perfect. YouTube channel. I mean, I would, I'm not gonna lie. I would advise doing both. Yeah. Yeah, we started doing, um, we had this massive uh, see backlog of like years worth of content on TikTok that we just weren't using anymore. Um, and then when Mr. Beast did all these podcast runs telling them, it's like, all right, cool. So we just hired our, um, like our researcher. So yeah, I said, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I just want you to like take all of our old content, just post it on shorts, just keep posting it every single, schedule it to come out every single day. So we had like, for probably like two months, three months, we had like a YouTube short every single day and at start they were getting like 200 views 300 views like nothing special and, and obviously we were big at this time yeah. so our long form videos were like killing the shorts yeah. and i was like this is pointless but he'd already scheduled it for like three months in advance so it was like all right just let it happen um and then once it started to go and go and go i think in the space of it was october last year in the space of from the beginning of october we were bringing in about 4,000 new subscribers a month. Damn. By the end of October, um, all from the shorts, we were bringing in 100,000. All on the same channel? On so the main channel. Because we were doing it for like, what, like two or three months? We did months it for six months. Year. Well, we did it um, every day for uh, about two months. But we had, yeah. didn't we see a decrease in the long form views, right? It was, it was, it was, it was, we think it was affecting our main episodes and bringing our view duration down and basically affecting the main episodes. We were, yeah, the we view were, duration we yeah, were worried about. We were worried it was, it was affecting our full episodes, but maybe we should just do it again and stick <laughs> to it. I mean, yeah, I mean analytically, it yeah. really shouldn't, it really shouldn't play that much of a role because the way you view shorts is completely different 
to how you would view like you view shorts the same way you would view tiktok, TikTok yeah. so it's duration percentage basically yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so like um the only thing that what should happen is is people are, if people are watching your shorts when they go onto like normal youtube your thumbnail should start popping up on their home screen oh okay mm. yeah that's get suggested what, yeah, 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 yeah yeah you get way more suggested if they enjoy your short form content um but yeah the the way that youtube works when viewing shorts and viewing long form content uh the interface is completely different it's completely different so like you use shorts just like you use tiktok and then obviously use youtube the way we all use youtube right. but i would i would do both as well we have like a second channel we have a clips channel clips as well channel, yeah. uh, and the same shorts just copied it again just posted yeah. it again um exactly the same more growth i guess we know what we're doing we're this doing weekend both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we got a couple of flights next week so yeah. we're doing that it's <laughs> a lot of schedule oh, yeah. we have fucking four thousand clips on our computers dude it's yeah like it's the thing as well like I'm, I'm we're massive advocates for just like repurposing the same content mm, over yeah. and over and over again we've done it on like snapchat facebook obviously instagram and stuff like that and like we just keep, every time there's a new platform that allows it bang slap it on there yeah, yeah four years worth of content just go uh it just gives you such like an advantage and it's if it's sitting there you might as well yeah, yeah. i mean we've been kind of in the the perspective lately of just views or views views i mean even though the conversion rate is slow it's still a view it's still 100, 100 views a thousand views so why not try to capitalize on it let's fucking let's go man fucking let's go. go let's go 100 <laughs> yeah, percent. i'm not joking yeah, yeah i'm fired up let's do it <laughs> All right, so we did our first live show in January Sick. 2023 right. this year. And thanks for the advice. We asked you guys a couple of questions back then. It was great advice. Uh, you told us to interact with the crowd as much as possible and stuff like that. So it was awesome. It was an awesome experience where we just booked a, a venue in Boston for April. We're going to try to do an East Coast tour. Nice. So we're super excited about that next year. Nice. Now, what what was it like for you guys, like your first live show how how to feel like I'm curious because it was a fucking day, man. I was pounding, yeah. I was pounding a beer right up until I the curtain came. Out. <laughs> <laughs> out. The curtain was the two tall minutes, boys, dude. Two minutes to showtime. I'm drinking a beer. I'm yeah. like, all right, let's get the fucking nerves out. Let's I mean, go. Yeah, it's daunting. It's still daunting yeah. now for me. It's one of those ones where before the show, I'm like thinking, oh my god, I hope they're gonna like it. This, that, and the other. You're, you're running through like segments in your head, making sure everything's okay, but. As soon as you like step on stage and the audience are actually here for you and cheering for you, like you forget all of that and you just literally get on with the show as if like nobody's there, but everyone's there for you. It just, it's a, it's an amazing. I was nervous for our first one. <laughs> I was nervous for our first yeah, one. Yeah, you were. Actually, we're just, we have a thing where, um, well, I have a thing. If he's nervous, I'm not nervous. I don't, yeah, like my brain tells me like, we can't all be in panic mode here. Yeah, so someone has to, yeah, stay, yeah. yeah, someone has to keep control. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no emotion over here. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I got that under control. <laughs> Fucking Terminator. <laughs> yeah, so the more nervous he is, the more nervous Megan is, everyone around me, the more nervous they are, I'm like, okay, cool, it's fine. Mm. Everything's under control. Like everyone cares, it's all good. But then if everyone's super chill, when we've done shows where everyone is chill, yeah. we were on tour obviously a few months ago and we were doing a couple of back-to-back shows. Yeah. And I remember the second London show, yeah. Everyone was too relaxed. We were too, cause way, we did, way, way too the relaxed. The first London show was such a hit. The second London show, we were like, all right, we got this. And even though it was still a good show, like the audience still loved it, we just knew that, oh, we preferred the Wednesday show the day before. And like, we needed we just, the nerves. Yeah, we just needed to emulate that, that over edge. and over again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a trip, man. We we did a video opening. It was great. We um took the Nicole Kidman AMC ad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys see that in theaters. Mm -hmm. And we put like, I voice overed it like with Raiders of the Lost podcast. Like we make movies better, and then we put videos of us. So it was pretty hysterical. And then I took the Top Gun, you know that paragraph that they write at the opening of Top Gun, the first movie, and the new one, and then I, we turned that into like a Raiders thing. So it was great. It was a great way to ice break the crowd, and also for they were us laughing to, like, when we get came the on. laughs out of the way and like make you get get a little confidence before. But it took a it took a couple minutes to get into it, but once we got into the groove, um, it was fine. But it was just it took a while to get the conversation flowing correctly. It was yeah, it was fucking yeah. weird, man, yeah. to be in it's front odd. of people and like this yeah. is my fucking life now. It's fucking yeah. a trip. Yeah. Yeah. It's a trip. We don't yeah. perform as much as you guys, obviously, live, but we're trying to get back into it next year. Got yeah, it. man, it's 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 good. It's we good. um, we like it. We don't like to overdo it. Mm. Um, yeah, we did six dates this, this year. year, and uh, there was an opportunity to do twelve. And we were like, no way, no way. It is a lot. It's exhausting. Yeah, it's and the mental so prep and just yeah. preparing and just waiting for the day to come. It's a lot. Yeah. What's the like? Uh, what's the format like for your for your shows? For the we've only done one. Oh, and yeah. It was sorry, kind yeah. of like over. We, we sort of had like we categories had of what to yeah. talk about, and then we also like interact with the crowd. We did Q and As. It was live streamed online from this company called Moment. Moment. And so we were interacting with people online at the same time. So it was kind of all over the place. So they live streamed it. They filmed it at the at the theater. And then just interacting with the crowd and just kind of just freewheeling and just going off like yeah. things that happened in 2022 
for movies and cinema that year. Next time we'll, we'll have a more of a schedule, I think, of what we're going to do on stage. Like more, an more of a theme. Like Chris Nolan yeah. and Time, which would be a great ep- like a great show. That'll be a fun one, yeah. Because like Chris Nolan and his use of time is just so fascinating. I love that guy. He's the you best. get an Oppenheimer, bro. Yeah. I need to. I'll, I'll probably, I, this, it's this, fucking mind blowing. As soon as we get home, I'm watching it. You got him, man. And just jack the volume up. <laughs> jack it up because yeah. Ludwig's score is fucking awesome. He's killing it. It's a great it. score. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no one's my guy. He, I pretty much only listen to film scores now, and Hans okay. Zimmer is just my guy. But that's like my gym. Gym music is Hans Zimmer. Yeah, Gladiator. Like, we know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say, man. The next. I'm so excited for the next June. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 oh, June part. Just don't remind me, man. <laughs> got delayed. He's a super fan. He's read mm. all the books. Yeah, dude. Okay. I got him all. He has a I pillow of Paul Atreides that he sleeps with. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking wish, dude. <laughs> Can you order me one of those? Get on Redbubble right now. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet's face. I meant Paul, but if you want Timmy, Paul, yeah. <laughs> fucking same guy. <laughs> no, dude's my great. shit. Dude's yeah. my shit. Denis Villeneuve is my guy too, though. Like he's he's incredible. But the second film's gonna be insane. Have you guys read it? I, I haven't read, read it. it. My dad's like a super one, fan. Yeah. The he's second one's gonna be fucking crazy. Yeah, I've it's heard. insane. Like the, the where the story's going, the epicness, the action. So many things are coming together. Like it's gonna blow everybody's hair back. They don't know what's in for them, what they're in, in for. It's incredible. It it's it's going to make the first one. Like, the first one's awesome, but after this one, you're going to be like, Dune 2, guy. Dune 2. I don't think it's coming out in March, though. I think it's a fake date. We'll see. Because we'll they're see. pushing everything, but I don't it know. should come out, man. They, they should, should just, just drop it in drop November. It right now. They would have had six weeks by itself in IMAX. Mm. You bank. Yeah. It's too bad. Uh, did you guys uh, visit the IMAX when you were in London? No, no, we, we were only there for a day, yeah. but we're going back. I want to go to do a couple of days in London, but what, do they have a huge theater there? Yeah, Waterloo. There's a massive IMAX. Oh, it's like a 90 feet tall, I think. Yeah, yeah it's huge. huge. Yeah. Um, I think it's just the scale is like nine regular screens is the size. Yeah, it's, mm. it's huge. I watched the first Avatar there. It no was way. On 3D IMAX? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Dude, that was uh, sick. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's crazy. I think it's the second biggest IMAX screen. I, we There's t- one in New York that's like 100 feet tall. We actually interviewed uh, the guy who runs IMAX um, a month ago, and he gave us all this, these details about IMAX. They actually started in the 70s. Oh, wow. Sick. And so they stacked together like four film reels to show the size of IMAX to get investors, to get people to invest in the company. But it's crazy. In Apocalypse Now... Francis Ford Coppola almost made that movie with IMAX cameras Damn. back in the 70s. It was just too expensive, and yeah, they couldn't yeah. get it practically done. Barely even made that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been around. It's just It just came into fruition in the 2000s in a big way. And we actually grew up in Massachusetts where the one of the first IMAXs ever was built in like 2004, 2005. So we've been going to IMAX since we were little kids. And then we've developed a relationship with the brand. Fucking and thank God. We love they sent us to all the, we go to see them. early screenings of all the films there. I always see on your Instagram, I'm so jealous. It's great. <laughs> so they have a headquarters in LA and it's their office building slash they have two screening rooms there. And that's where filmmakers finish their films. Uh, they'll watch it, say, oh, we got to change the sound here. We got to adjust the picture here. So that's where they fine tune films for release in IMAX. And we get to go there all the time. It's fucking amazing. That's great. The seats, you would love it. Yeah, yeah, I can Come imagine. On. That's you what I'm thinking about. These, they're That's huge, the, yeah. bro. <laughs> they're cozy seats. They're yeah. cozy. <laughs> they are cozy. <laughs> um, what else are you guys doing while you're here? So, what are we doing? It's more, more of this. Yeah. More yeah. of this, and um, just, just vibes really. When, and we're also going to New York again to do more of this. Nice. So, yeah. Which yeah. shows you been on? What are you doing? So uh, obviously we only arrived yesterday. Um, we just did what's the name of it? Oh yeah, lovers and, lovers friends. and friends. We just did, yeah. which is around the corner, uh, which is like a sex and relationship podcast. Re- really, really yeah, good, yeah. thought provoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. Um, we've got fire and the kid. Um, oh, you're doing fire and the kid? Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I've never heard of them. It's uh, Brian Callen. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, Brent Schaub. Gotcha. Yeah, They're that, great. Yeah, that should be a good one. Um, like we've, we've got, got a um, basement yard when we get to New York. We've got uh, the retirement my retirement house. house. We've got uh, Megan knows the diary. We've got a few. We've Damn, got a few. we've got These a guys few. Guys are yeah. working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be good though, man. Like, um, it's actually kind of surreal. Like I said, I, like, I'm a huge podcast nerd, and I used to get like super excited, like whenever like a comedian would have a new special out or someone would have like a new movie out or whatever, and they just do the the, the, the podcast run. Mm. Um, and then like all the podcasts I listened to would just have them as a guest that week. 
And I'm just like, oh, that's so cool. That's fucking great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Guy Ritchie did that. He he did that when he was promoting King Arthur. Like mm-hmm. he was on Rogan's yeah. podcast. He was on a bunch of other podcast. What a cool fucking guy. Dude, he's the fucking man. Guy Ritchie's like, so cool. Suit because he like has this thing about suits. It's yeah. like a suit of armor. You gotta wear that shit. And but like. He's the fucking man. He's an interesting guy. Because he, he must be huge in film culture, like we were talking about earlier, because he kind of brought, like, that gangster English, like, crime <clears throat> genre, like, out of nowhere. He kind of created it out there. He's and like, he discovered Jason Statham. Yeah, he's like the <laughs> Scorsese of England, kind of, in a way. Yeah, man. He discovered, who else did he, he discovered someone else as well. Oh, the tough, who's the tough guy? With the, like, Vinny, Vinny Jones? Vinny Jones. Yeah, he discovered Vinny Jones. Jones. He also discovered the guy from, um, what's that, what is that, um, he plays... Jason Statham's like sidekick in Oh um, the um he's in the Cook movie. Yeah, he's in the Oh he, fuck yeah. yeah. Graham? Stephen Graham. Yes. He's Stephen an Irishman Graham. too. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy's a great actor. Well. Apparently yeah, I heard a story on a podcast. His friend went to audition for a movie um and he was just there hanging around. Um and Guy Richard was like, "What are you doing here?" Mm. Like, are you an actor or what? And he was yeah. like, oh, yeah, kind of. And he was like, all right, audition. And then that was it. Oh, swear. And they got That's Snatch, great. man. Snatch is awesome. <clears throat> Snatch is fucking Because it's them two are basically yeah. the leads of that movie, him yeah. and Statham. Mm-hmm. I love Snatch. Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels. Mm-hmm. Great. Fucking, even Rock and Roll is cool. Rock and Roll That's is cool. a cool movie. Yeah. I really like the Sherlock Holmes movies. Yeah? I really like those. Mm. Yeah. I think those are great. Yeah, I, I like them. They're cool. Give what? or take? Uh, I thought they were, I thought they were okay. I'm not gonna lie, I just thought they were okay. I thought they were decent. He yeah. needed a better seat when he was watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought they were good. He's man. in a fold up chair, like not happening. Okay. Yeah. Well, since you guys are UK, how do you feel about you see the last Bond movie, right? No time to die. I saw it. I did see it. Yeah. Again, not comfortable. Yeah. Cinema. I'm not, I saw it in an every. Where are you watching movies? I saw it in an every man cinema. So I don't know if you have. Do you have every man cinemas in in America? No, so every man cinemas no. are like they're meant to be comfortable. You can bring like different types of food. It's not like a regular cinema, and. This, first of all, the screen was so small or smaller than normal. And the seats were, it's like one of these, like you can't recline, nothing. So I was more focused on be, trying to get comfortable. But the film itself, I thought was okay. I didn't think the film was great. And that's got nothing to do with like my surroundings. I yeah. just thought the film was okay, <laughs> generally. Right. What about the, the idea to kill Bond? What do you guys think? Was that bad? Was that a bad move? Since you're from the UK. I'm not mad at it to be fair i'm not mad at it at all yeah i've I, seen a lot of hate about it like people are very unhappy that they killed them i can see why yeah. um but like it's a weird one like it's never i think it's never happened before obviously um and he's been doing it now and he was like this is the first one i was like damn he's old man yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all he fun. really is old <laughs> um and i literally it reminded me because I two days ago I watched uh, Casino Royale. Again. I did it last week. It's fucking slaps, man. Oh, oh that chase, <laughs> that opening chase, oh dude. My God. When they first like it, that's when like parkour was at its like, yeah. height and stuff. Yeah. Like that. so clever, man. Oh, and um, Mads Mikkelsen's my guy as well. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I watched that the other day, and I made me rem- it, it reminded me like, damn, this was when he was at his peak. Like this mm. is when Bond was just like the most amazing thing of all time. So just. Looking back at that, I, I did think, you know what, maybe killing him off is not the worst. Like, he's been in twenty-seven movies, so I mean, I think it was fine. But yeah. I know that we have a friend that's from the UK, and they were not happy about it because, like they said, it's so ingrained in the culture there. So like, people took it the yeah. wrong way. But I mean, again, it's been twenty-five goddamn movies. It's, I think it was fine. Do you hear about Nolan and Bond? Mm-mm. No. So Chris Nolan apparently is in talks to make two Bond films. And he's gonna make them period pieces in the sixties. Oh, that's okay. a good idea. And he wants to cast Aaron Taylor Johnson. I have no idea who that is. Bullet kick Train. Bullet Train kick Oh, ass. yeah, 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 yeah. Bullet yeah, yeah, yeah. Train. Yeah. Okay. Fair okay. play. Okay. He'd be good. I love Kick-Ass, by the way. Kick-Ass. <laughs> Kick-Ass was great. <laughs> that was a heaven's time. That yeah. was a heaven's time. I can't believe people don't talk about that movie anymore. That was a fun love one. Love Kick-Ass. Yeah. Nick Cage is Big Daddy. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit Girl. <laughs> Dude, Hit Girl is hilarious. Yeah, man. Just chopping dude's arms if off. If they made a Hit Girl movie, I'd watch that. Fuck yeah, I would. Absolutely. She's still like young enough to like pull that off. I would do that if I was her. Yeah, they should do one. How old is she? She's got to be in her mid twenties, something like that. Yeah, because she's, like she's oh, been yeah, she's been about for a minute. Yeah, she's been acting since she was such a young kid, though. I mean, she's like Amityville 12. Horror. She's Amityville like, Horror. Yeah, the one with Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. She plays. That was her first movie. She's like six years old. She's thirteen or twelve in Hit Girl. She was, was in a, the Martin Scorsese movie Hugo. That was yes, the, and he she tricked Scorsese into thinking that she was British because really? she went into the audition with a British accent, and he she fooled him, and then she spoke Amer- with an American accent. He's like, yeah, wait, you're not from here. So he was like so sold that he hired her on the spot. Right. Wow. That's not easy as well. I, that is not easy. Yeah, I struggle with people trying to do an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with it. 
It's tough. It ain't easy. Well, I mean, I feel like it, so many British actors or Australian actors, they're good at in American accents because of so much American content. Yeah, But exactly. for us, we don't, get a, ton of, yeah, we don't yeah. get a ton of British content besides, unless you like just Jane Austen. And, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, there's, there's one actor that I don't like that's British that does an American accent. And it... Who is it? Idris Elba. I knew you were going to oh! say Idris. I knew you were going to say Idris. Idris Elba. Oh. <laughs> some, some Brits, they speak very slowly when they speak with American accent. It's like, you guys, you get to speed it up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so yeah, they're, yeah. Spo they're focused on the pronunciation where they're, they're speaking like way too slowly with the rhythm. True. I'll notice that. But Luther is my shit, though. Luther. I love, Luther. I love that Luther. show, Luther. man. I've been trying to get him on that show. It's Luther's only like two really seasons, good. bro. I mean, but I'll watch it's it. really, I don't really have good. Netflix. <laughs> Dude, it's streaming online. You <laughs> stream right. a ton of shit on Movie That's 7. True. That's true. <laughs> yeah, man. Did you watch it? It was a movie, the newest yeah, one. Wasn't the newest it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't watched the movie yet because. The movie but... isn't as good. Yeah, yes. I heard it was. Yes. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's it's why I'm like scared right. to watch it because I love the show. I'm like, yeah, the show's really good. I don't know, man. What a cool fucking guy, though. I love He's him. Fucking man. He's great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, when he does British shit, I'm I'm here for it. Because he's in the Guy Ritchie movies, like Rock and Roller, he's the shit in that. He's Tom great. Hardy's in that movie too. He's Handsome Rob. Handsome like Rob. There's a yeah. bunch of huge people in that movie before they're really famous. Mm -hmm. But then, I mean, for Brits who do American accents, I think Christian Bale's probably the best. Christian Bale, because a lot of well, not, I would say some most Brits they can only do an American accent. They can't do different American accents yeah, yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's a ton Christian out here. Bale there's is a ton. very adept with accents, where he can do regional as well as uh, age, and he can just pretty much do whatever accent you ask I mean, him to American, do. American American Psycho, the Wall Street yeah. accent, and then Batman Begins, just kind of just a generic American yeah, accent. American Hustle. Tom Holland's good as well. Yeah, yeah, Tom's good. Tom Tom Tom's, Tom's all right. Tom's great with accents. Yeah. Tom's fantastic. He's a super talented guy. He like is. that video where him and uh, Zendaya did the lip sync battle, where he played, <laughs> dude, that yeah. shit is insane. <laughs> yeah. Like, he had that front flip on his ass. Yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, he went He really is Spider-Man. Dude, he Yeah, like he was doing like, um, Obviously, he did ballet and stuff when he was a kid. Yeah. So I, I rewatched what's that tsunami movie he was in? Oh, oh the, the, impossible. the impossible. The impossible. Yeah, I rewatched yeah, yeah. that maybe like two months ago, and I completely forgot it was in the movie. And when I saw him, he was doing like flips and stuff at the beginning um, when they were playing um, before the tsunami actually happened. I was thinking, oh, this is really Spider Man. <laughs> this is really, really Spider Man. Yeah, I was like, like wow. there's a video of him behind the scenes of No Way Home doing the flip, the whole stunt sequence, like jumping on cars and back flipping. Yeah, yeah. But he's wearing like the uh, the one piece CGI suit. It's like, why not just put him in the Spider-Man yeah, outfit? Yeah, what are you yeah, guys yeah. doing? Facts. <laughs> what are you, Facts. you got like he's this dots on him. He's fucking exactly. doing it. Why yeah, are you yeah. going to CGI Give him some fucking web shooters, <laughs> yeah. bro. He'll fucking swing why around. Are you, why are you CGI'ing him? <laughs> just give him the fucking suit. That's a good fucking point. Yeah, Marvel goes man. too far with that green screen, man. Yeah. They go too far. They rely on it. <laughs> but it Naomi Watts much. in The Impossible, I saw her, because she's from Australia. I saw her in her film Eastern Promises with Viggo Mortensen. And her British accent, I, you guys should check it out. It's the, probably the best British accent I've seen on screen by a non-Brit. Really? It's okay. unbelievable. I thought she was British. I knew she's from Australia, but I was watching this movie. I'm like, is she English? And I Googled it. I'm like, no, she's from Australia. It's an easier transition, though. That's how, yeah, but I, she's, you got to watch it. The fine tune, the, what she did with it is just insane. Incredible. It's one of the best accents I've seen recently. Hugh Jackman's pretty good. I mean, Prestige is great. Yeah, that's my yeah. movie, that's man. <laughs> Both, him and uh, Christian Bell. Yeah, yeah, what a yeah, fucking that's cast. That's a dream team. Huge cast. Huge cast. Let's Prestige, go watch man. it, guys. <laughs> yeah, got, I'll get a recliner yeah. for you, man. I promise. We'll go pick one up. <laughs> Prestige fucked up that other movie, though, as well. What's the other one? The Illusionist. The Illusionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came out the same year. Yeah, literally. Damn. Worst decision yeah. of all time. <laughs> they didn't know who <laughs> Nolan was back then. They're like, who the fuck is Chris Nolan? <laughs> fuck this guy. Then yeah, they realize, oh, every Nolan movie makes over $100 million, no matter what it is. <laughs> but man, that movie is incredible. The twists. And you read the book and you said it's a little bit different. It's better than the book. Yeah, better than yeah, the book. Yeah, it's like that rare example. It's so good. And he has a radio head song playing at the end of the credits. Like, I didn't even notice. Yeah. Mm. Fair play. So man. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hard to rank that guy's movies because like you Nolan yeah because I, was, I was gonna ask you guys that because we've been speaking about Nolan for quite a bit now um because we were talking about I think earlier today we were talking about Quentin Tarantino movies like what yeah we rank them. our top uh, three Tarantinos what, what are yours you go, uh, I, I go on. oh sorry I said I think I landed on Django Hateful Eight and um Pulp. Pulp. I like that. Bro, Hateful Eight is so underrated. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Literally. Oh my Literally. god. That that fucking poster ending. in the living room, man. The ending. It's oh like incredible. There's so much, it's such a div divisive movie. It's so much so many people it's hate on that like movie. movie, I think. People so say much the happens writing's in that. How is that possible? So much happens in that. It's I, one location. Yeah. 
It's yeah. amazing. I it's love, I love awesome. that he does that sometimes. It's like a fucking play yeah. for a movie. It's incredible what he did. It's just mind blowing. It's one of his best screenplays. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. And the ball still opened up with like a seventeen, a seven minute shot of just Jesus on the cross with Ennio Morricone's music in the in a blizzard. Like, all right, right let's go. Great. Oh my god, I love that. Um, movie. I would say I think I landed on my top three being Reservoir Dogs, Slept On, um, Pulp, obviously, and the third was a toss between um, The Hateful Eight and. It was a, uh, the third was a tough spot. It was like Hateful Eight, Django, as well as Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I couldn't Ooh. read. Heck one, man. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't <laughs> because they were all, all amazing. Yeah, all amazing. They sh he shot Reservoir Dogs all around this neighborhood. This neighborhood. Oh really? Oh, really? The Insane. entire film was shot in this neighborhood, just down the street. Like Sick. all the locations you can yeah. visit. It's crazy. Just like there's a cafe there now. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking bonkers. For me, I, I loved get, Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. I think yeah, the the. All the colors that like Mr. Black, Mr. This, I felt that was genius. Dude, it's a perfect movie. It's one oh. of the best debuts ever. It's up so there. good. Yeah, top five. So You're good. Mr. Pink. <laughs> so good. And the fact that he was in the movie and I didn't know that was him until after the fact. Oh, it's glorious. What do you got, bro? Inglorious, Pulp, and then Kill Bill. Fair, yeah, that's the shit. Fair play. Kill Bill. I'm being like 11 years old seeing Kill Bill in theaters blew my mind. It was unbelievable. Beatrix is my favorite character, I think, yeah. of all time. Beatrix like in general. Great. I love the bride, man. She's the shit. Before we get back to our conversation with James and Fuhad, the best way to support Raiders of the Lost Podcast is to become a patron at patreon.com slash Raiders of the Lost Podcast. We have five different tiers of membership who all get two bonus episodes of the show included with their memberships. Not to mention, we are going to do full episodes of the show will be ad-free available on Patreon for everyone who's a minimum of $5 patronage. A lot of you understand that we need to have ads in our show to get that bag. We got to pay the rent, but we really, really want to provide an ad-free experience for our patrons. So sign up today at patreon.com slash Raiders of the Lost Podcast. Raiders of the Lost Podcast is also brought to you by MoviePosters.com, the number one place to get your movie posters today. Anthony usually reads this ad, but I kicked him out of the studio so I could do it for myself because I love MoviePosters.com. Use our coupon code Raiders10 at MoviePosters.com to get 10% off your order. Today, Movie Posters has been partnered with us for years. They're a staple of the show. They've helped us grow so much, and they provide us with so many posters, not just for our studio, for our house. We are decked out to the T with Movie Posters. It's the best part of having friends come over to the house is seeing them react to all of our posters. We also have posters for our short film Midnight Ruin available on there. Movieposters.com, the number one place to get your movie posters today. Use coupon code Raiders10 at checkout today to get 10% off your order. I'm going probably like objectively the best. I think I'm going to go Pulp and Glorious and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Nice. I think it's fucking excellent, and it gets better every time I watch it. But just for, I have to put Inglorious on the top because the opening scene, and then that middle bar scene, they're the two thing, two best scenes he's ever done. The opening is, I think, the best written scene ever, in in film history. It's pretty amazing. That opening, wow. and he fucking lost best screenplay. Yeah, to, he lost best screenplay. So that movie, Up in the Air. Right? No, 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 it was different. Up in the Air was adapted screenplay. What did he lose to that year? Something, something terrible. Yeah, he only has two Oscars for the writing, um, Django and. Uh, pulp. Well, he's a he's a great like that's his thing. He's a writer first, then director second. It's like they can't give they couldn't give Jordan the MVP every year. <laughs> <laughs> he could. They win had every to throw year. to a couple of guys yeah. out there. <laughs> <laughs> so like give it to someone else. Spread it out. <laughs> Same thing with Tarantino. They can't give him the Oscar every year, I guess. But every time he writes a script, it's the best script that year. Oh, hands down. Yeah. All right, top three, Nolan. What do you guys got? To pull up the list. Yeah, bro. That's what I, <laughs> I, I don't know his. One. I don't know his list like I know. Um, Quintons. I got Dark Knight. Dark Knight has to be there for yeah. sure. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight just that was that's a movie that really got me incredibly interested in in cinema. Yeah, so Dark Knight Great movie. Dark Knight. I would definitely say. Um, I don't want to be a sheep and just say Interstellar for the sake. <laughs> Oppenheimer number Wait, two. I got a poster right behind you. Oh, I got mine. So I love it. Same. All right, bro. Dark Knight. It's my favorite Nolan movie, but I don't know if I'd put it in his top three for best. But it's my favorite. Mm. Dark Knight, Inter Inter Interstellar. Interstellar. I got Dark Knight, Oppenheimer, and then Dunkirk. My top three. Bro, I like. I've not seen Dunkirk. Dunkirk's a movie. Oh, yes, bro. Watch it. Yes, okay. it's one okay. of the best war movies ever. It's okay. incredible. Did you guys learn about Dunkirk like that when you were in school and everything? I remember us having. Damn, probably. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Probably history is not my thing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. King George just flew over yeah, your head. Bro, yeah, bro. When, when you said it, I was thinking this is gonna be embarrassing. Yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to do, but yeah, this is not this is not what we're gonna relate on. It was the tea party, bro. Yeah, bro. No we don't taxation learn... without representation. <laughs> we don't learn anything about um yeah. like American history at all in school. Really, do we? No, not at all, really. Well, since we're it's from Boston, we, we like overlearned it. I guess you could say we're from a lot of the areas where like, those battles took place. We were, like, in the you could drive War. by the Lexington. Yeah, War. they have like monuments up for famous battles where we grew up. Like the tea party, you can still participate. You can go on the ship. <laughs> it's still the actual there. ship where they threw tea over the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. They were like, England. "Fuck England." English don't give a shit. Myself, <laughs> our, our history, um, like, just trying to you sweep so much a, of it under the rug. You guys did a lot of shady <laughs> shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How many uh, countries did you take over again? <laughs> Yo, yeah, bro. All, all of them. I think England only didn't take over maybe twenty countries in the world. Everything else Insane. they took over. I think at one it was like point. twenty, Insane. something like that. Yeah. In the whole world. Great Britain. That's <laughs> crazy. That's Great crazy. Britain just <laughs> fucking conquering <laughs> nations left yeah. and right. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, top three Nolan. Bulls in the 90s was England. <laughs> Bulls in the 90s. I'm going to say Dark Knight. Yeah. I might actually say Interstellar as well. Do actually, no, no, no. Dark Knight, Prestige, and I'm actually going to say uh, Inception, you know? Oh, Dude, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, I love yeah, Inception. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. everyone forgot about that movie. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, that, yeah. Every, that was the biggest movie ever for like two for or three while, years. For a while. In my head, yeah. Red Free, Dude. Great cast as well. Dude, yeah. Fantastic cast. Um, Dark Knight for sure. Inception for sure. And then I've not seen Dunkirk, so I can't really say that. And I've not seen Insomnia. I would have to throw... I would have to throw Tenet in there because of the twist. Dude, Tenet's yeah. great. Tenet. Great Tenet's pick, the man. Tenet's great. Interesting. Yeah. Tenet's fire. Just because of the twist, I'd have to. Dude, Tenet's that's a fire. good movie. Mm. I don't know why people hate on that one. We actually was, uh, we saw that during lockdown here. Every, there was only two theaters in California that were open when okay. that was released. And we drove to San Diego two and a half hours away just to watch it. It was worth, uh, worth it. It was worth yeah. it. The seats were so comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Nolan was actually there. <laughs> you guys <laughs> made it. <laughs> sat in between us. It was great. <laughs> Do you guys have like a favorite like guilty pleasure movie? Oh, guilty pleasure. Fucking. I love rom coms. Starship Troopers. Yeah. Star. Dude, Starship yeah. Troopers. That's my childhood. <laughs> I remember my dad had that on DVD. I used to have it on repeat. Bro. Oh, dude, dude, the dude, fucking football. <laughs> the football. Dude. In that? Oh my. Oh my god. I forgot about. It. I forgot the movie even existed. It's amazing. I've never seen it. It's dude. Awful. I've never seen it. Dude. It's awful. Okay. But it's, it's amazing. Okay. Say less. It's so it's about giant bugs, alien bugs, trying to take over Earth, basically. Okay. Say less. And, um, it's sick. there's a theater in LA that Tarantino owns called the New Bev, and they only play older movies. And before films, they'll show trailers, like old trailers. Yeah. Oh, sick. So you go see a movie, you'll see three trailers from, like, related to the movie in some way, whether it be that actor or director, or they'll show three trailers from that. And then we went a couple months ago, and they showed Starship Troopers trailer. And the crowd erupted. We were all <laughs> like, let's fucking watch that. <laughs> no, right. I wish I did. It, it was so good. Damn, it looks so good. I forgot all about that it's fucking wild. It's just like a B action horror movie. I don't know how to describe. It's so it's so unique. Yeah, it's an alien movie, but also well, I don't Paul, know, not really. Paul Verhoeven made it. He made um, Total Recall with Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he's, he's a really unique director. He's a very <laughs> unique director. <laughs> Three titties for a character. Like, <laughs> 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 Who comes up with that? <laughs> Damn! Oh, wow, Starship Troopers actually blown me. Pa uh, Neil Patrick yeah. Harris is in that. Remember? Yeah, 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 he's he is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like the, the psychic guy. or whatever. Oh, and oh, wow. Denise Richards. Denise Richards. Bro, oh, man. I became yeah, yeah. a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Starship Troopers. Bro? Yeah. Oh, my God. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> James is like, someone's going to live that life. <laughs> I mean, fucking A. We saw Charlie Sheen in person like six years ago, walking across our car on a sidewalk, just like a little goblin. It was like, during tweaking. the peak of his like madness. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, it's weird. I'm jealous. He was just living the best life. He was like, "Fuck it." He got like, "What? How much money did he get from Two and a Half Men?" Because a lot. He was the highest paid actor on television. They cut him for from the while. show, so yeah. he got like a hundred mil in a in like a deal. He was making a million per episode plus back end. But then he got he sued them basically because they cut him from the show. Remember? Oh really? And he got a huge fat check. Big settlement. Dude. Oh yeah, they bought him out. That's right. They bought him out and to then, keep making the and show. They replaced him with Ashton insane. Kutcher. Yeah. I don't know how they explained the height growth. I can't remember. <laughs> Bro, but I mean, man. Denise Richards, I, I love, but it was always Kate Beckinsale for me when I was a kid. Underworld. Oh, Underworld was oh, my shit. Wow. Yeah, it was great. Some good shit. Some good shit. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt. 
<laughs> Underworld was great. I'm telling you, you guys, memory recall is yeah, crazy. crazy. <laughs> wow. I, forgot, I forgot these movies existed. You know, uh, Ma- Michael Sheen was in Underworld. He's the he's the werewolf. Well, you know, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the famous British actor. <laughs> he's, like, he's like a human eye. Well, now, this movie was released in 1997. So Michael Sheen was the uh, crew developer. I think Underworld was 2003. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Jesus, Underworld, man. Yeah, yeah that was a the the. The franchise overall wasn't actually that, that bad either. Mm. I didn't watch the new one. They did one like six years ago with her. They brought her back. I think Kill I've it. seen like the first two or three, maybe. I think that the last one it was the fourth one. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah they did. I so think... they did two with her. Then they did a prequel with Lycans. Yeah. And Michael Sheen led that one yeah, 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 as like yeah, yeah. the leader of the resistance of Lycans against vampires. And it's, then yeah. Kate Beckinsale did a new one. One like of the six only years movies ago. that werewolves good. Like it's tough to do. Werewolves, they got werewolves. But they did yeah. a good job. I think. Yeah. They're scary as fuck. I mean, American Werewolf in London is sick. Yeah, that's that one's good. That's obviously the classic one. I did it. I wasn't. I didn't like the movie overall, but the werewolves, uh, like Van Helsing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought mm. were decent. Cool transformation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. His, like skin melts off. Yeah, yeah there's just cool. too much yeah. going on in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so they had like every fucking monster in it. Stressful, yeah. man. <laughs> Relax. Stressful. Relax. Just give us Dracula. Just fucking <laughs> shut up. He doesn't need an army of fucking demons like everywhere. He, he turns into Hulk too. <laughs> Dracula Hulk. <laughs> They're like, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, yeah, I do remember. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Hugh Jackman turns into a werewolf, and then Dracula turns into like Hulk Dracula, and they fight. They fist fight in the lab. Yeah, they oh do. Yeah. Yeah. Useless movie, that, bro. Yeah. Useless. Well, we got Frankenstein coming out next year. <laughs> <laughs> Useless <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're our hour 15 into this how about we wrap this up guys yeah man this is great. yeah this is juicy it's yeah juicy. It's so the, juicy yeah, the, fucking hell juicy, right? <laughs> just give me a fucking hell fucking hell yes man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're in sync today. all right okay. shits in gigs check them out shits is spelled with an x in case you can't find it james fuhard guys thanks so much for coming on the show Thank you for having us so Max. flattered you want to come and join us oh for sure yeah Max. super have fans. a blast in la Enjoy your promoting your future tours. Thank you. But yeah, thanks for tuning. Everyone go check them out. Thank you, guys. Dang. All right, see you next time, everyone. This episode was executive produced by our Chosen One patrons, Cody Moen, Andrew Hagen, Benjamin Cook, Calvin Murphy Griggs, Darian, Tyler McFly, and Sal Koching. Our Chosen One patrons are our biggest supporters. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching Raiders of the Lost Podcast. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. Notifications for sure. Listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere you can listen to podcasts. And be sure to check out this other content we have on our YouTube channel.